Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Plus Size in Canada. My name is Miranda and I am so excited to share my very first Dollar Tree haul. You guys, I went to Dollar Tree for the first time in my life. As soon as we crossed the border into the United States, there was a Dollar Tree in Callis, Maine. And I am a little bit jealous of the people that live in St. Stephen, New Brunswick, because they are literally a hop, skip, and jump away. Well, legally, you should probably go through the border area and not like jump, but like, yeah, you should pass forward, do all the things. But they are like so close to shopping in the States. If you live in a border town, let me know what is your experience like i'm super curious my sister lives in woodstock and there is a border close to woodstock here in new brunswick um but i'm not sure how good it is like once you cross because we crossed that border once but that was like forever ago and i really don't remember it was when the boys were six and eight and we drove to bangor to go um take a plane to go to disney world um but the last few times we've gone across the border we've gone over in saint stephen and there's stores, like there's a Martin's, which I've heard the commercial, I should have bought it when I saw it at Martin's, but I never really knew what Martin's was until we saw it. And I was like, oh, I think that's, that's the discount store. That's, I heard the song, the jingle, I've heard it. Um, anyways, we didn't shop at Martin's. <laughs> and honestly, that's just down to, we ran out of time to shop and truthfully, the more stores I go into, the more I spend. And I'm trying to, you know, cut back on that and I'm being successful so far. So we're doing okay. Um, you guys, we went to the Dollar Tree. It was actually in the same parking lot as that Martin store. And it was our first time for all of us. And let me be blunt. Um, let me be a little bit, I mean, harsh criticism, I guess. It wasn't as good as I thought it would be. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> now, maybe this was just the store in Callis that I went to. It was, it was kind of a mess. It like, I'm being honest. It was kind of a mess. Um, and a lot of the things there weren't good to buy. Like, sure, everything was $1.25, so you know, affordable, absolutely. But I felt like a lot of the items there should have been like four for $1.25 or like eight for $1.25. Some of the things just felt like a little bit of a rip. And for me, I am Canadian, says so in my channel name. Um, so my money costs me more to spend in their store. So if I'm paying $1.25 American, I'm actually paying more because my money isn't worth as much, even though my money's prettier, so. <laughs> Honestly, we used cards the whole time anyways. I just, I don't know how my American friends keep their cash together. How do you know? I have always lived with beautiful money. It's colorful, like me, and I love it. And you don't have to like see the number to know how much it is. You just see a flash of the color and you know what you're rolling with, okay? And I like it like that. So I, anyways, it's it, you guys call our money Monopoly money, but Monopoly money is pretty. So I'll take it. <laughs> just wish it was worth more. Um, but at the Dollar Tree, we had no idea how much it was going to come to. Um, we walked every single aisle. Winnie found a ton of stuff. We did get some things, like some useful things for sure. I just didn't go crazy. But you guys, for the amount that I got, two bags full, $45.02. Curtis and I looked at each other like, what? Because Dollarama could never, okay? Dollarama is the dollar store that I frequent a lot here. Most of us Canadians do. We are very rich in Dollarama. Dollarama is making a shit ton of money off us, guys. <laughs> like, Google it. They, yeah, I think it's becoming a scam a little bit, but it's still worth it for a lot of things. Um, but if I had a bought all of this stuff at the Dollarama, easily it would have been 80 or more. Easily probably more. 
I'm excited for what I got. Let me share it with you. So Skylar actually found these first and then Curtis was like, where'd you get those? I want some. I don't know whose is whose here. Just Skylar came over with these socks and he's like, can I get these? And I'm like, yeah, sure. It's socks. Um, and it's the bum equipment. I don't know if Walmart still runs with this brand, but I absolutely remember growing up. So many teenagers had like, you know, the Gap sweaters. Well, there were also the Club Monaco sweaters, the Roots sweaters, and the Bum sweaters. Okay, my favorite was not the Bum. But actually for Walmart, it was a decent quality brand. So got some of these. Socks, $1.25 a piece. The thing that I am most excited about is very boring, kind of lame, but it hits a memory in my mind. I'm sure I've talked about this before. Sometimes I find this scent and when I do, I am immediately brought back to when we first moved in this house and Skylar was six months old. We were married like a year and a half and we upgraded our home big time and we needed to fill our home with everything because we had so little we oh, you guys we were so cute such honestly they could make a movie about us and i'm not bragging i like but it would be a friggin awesome movie <laughs> but when we first moved in here i bought either glade plugins or airwick or something like that back in 2006 2007 is when we moved in here um anyways and it was this beautiful scent and Oh, I'm smelling it literally right now because sometimes I will find it again, but then I lose it and I don't know where it went. But at the Dollar Tree, this is what's lame. <laughs> it's, oh, I just breathed it in a little bit. Woo! It's carpet deodorizer. Oh my heck. It could literally make me cry just smelling it. I can't even explain to you how much like literally this, this, it hits me deep. Okay. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys, I'll try to behave. Um, this, what even scent is it? I'm trying to find it for tough odors, mold, mildew, and smoke. Um, I'm not seeing any scent here. We did have this in Canada. I think we still do. The package is a little bit different because the ones that I had been buying, um, for us, I believe I've been buying them at the Dollarama. They're a little bit taller, a little bit skinnier, and they used to be this scent, but they're not anymore. This, oh my heck, I wish I could share it. I wish you guys could smell this because it's like clean, new beginnings, simpler times, <sighs> being on maternity leave. <laughs> which I only got with my first baby. And then for every baby after that, I had my own home daycare. So you better believe I was literally nursing and had a shield like cloak over me and walking around giving out sippy cups to all of the kids because I never got that kind of break ever again. Also for the house, actually for the trailer, I was thinking this is obviously one of my favorite colors. Um, I just thought I would bring this in the trailer, $1.25 for a little palm olive. Honestly, I love cute little packages. I really do. I totally see why adults get obsessed with the mini brands toys because they're adorable. They're cute. And I like playing with Winnie's. I do. I can't say that I would ever buy them myself, but never say never because <laughs> bitches be crazy. <laughs> Also for the house, I got an assortment of Glad bags. Normally I buy these at Costco, but I thought, hey, for $1.25, why not buy a few? So I got the gallon freezer, the snack size zipper bags, and this is the snack size. Oh, I got two of the same. Didn't even notice. All right, we got double snacks. I thought I got one sandwich bag. I do that all the time. I think it's because they both start with the letter S. But even when I'm shopping at Walmart or Costco, usually Costco I don't screw up because the package is different and it's noticeable, but all the time I'll buy snack size instead of sandwich size. Curtis has done it too when I've asked him to pick up a few things. So I kind of figure it's like a normal thing to screw up on accidentally. Um, this bullseye barbecue sauce looks so different. 
in the States as it does here. Here, they're like a circle bottle and the wrapper's different. It's black with red, not this like tannish color. I haven't bought bullseye sauce in a really long time. Curtis and I really do enjoy it, especially for the summer. So for $1.25, I thought I would buy one. We do have a lot of barbecue sauce in the house right now. Um, and we like so many different kinds. So we used to only use bullseye in craft. And now we've expanded our horizons to many different brands of the same damn flavor. I was hoping to find a few more things in the grocery section to take home with me, but I really did not find that much. And mainly that is because I didn't want to bring home too many treats because if it's here, I'm going to eat it. Okay. Like I just, the Reese's you guys, the Reese's Americans, you don't know how good you have it. Why do you have so many options? Literally every gas station we went to, every grocery store, it's a sea of orange. We do not have that many races here. We do, we're starting to get more. So it's kind of a problem for me because it might be my favorite food and chocolate and peanut butter together is sinfully delicious. Um, and like all in balance, yes, but I'm, still working on that and I don't know how to balance my Reese intake with my salads and activity. It's just, it's, I think it's going to be a lifelong journey. Um, but I did find a few things in the grocery section. I found these Hawaiian punch. Oh my heck. Okay. I thought they were both, again, I thought I bought two of the same thing, but this is the regular red Hawaiian punch. This is lemon berry squeeze. I've never seen this. Maybe we have it somewhere. Um, I say all the time, we don't have this in Canada, but I'm referring to my Canada, New Brunswick, where I live. Honestly, the difference between the East Coast and the West Coast here is vast. It's a vast difference. <laughs> but there is a really big difference. The Maritimes are kind of like, <laughs> we get left out of a lot of things. Like we don't even have a Dollar Tree here, but everywhere else in Canada does. So it is different, um, but I haven't seen it. Maybe it's like limited edition, whatever. I don't usually look for Hawaiian punch, um, but I used to buy it for the boys and now I just find it's like completely full of sugar and I try to not buy this stuff, but for sometimes, absolutely. We're allowed to have fun. So I got orange, pink, and red Hawaiian punches, like $1.25 for that. It's an okay deal, but again, I'm paying American dollars, right? I used to buy them when Walmart had them here I don't think they're there anymore because I probably would have continued buying them because they were so cheap. Um, used to be able to buy a six pack of like smaller bottles for $2. So I used to buy that when my boys were younger, but I haven't seen it in a while. Um, for the clean, I found this spray detangler. Wedding colors, folks. These were my wedding colors, purple and green. So if you ever see Curtis, leave a comment and he puts a purple and green heart together. It's just because he loves me. Oh, that smells so good. That smells so good. I've never heard of this brand. Who knows where it came from, but hopefully it works. And even if it doesn't, it smells good. And honestly, even if it doesn't detangle, it makes the hair wet, which kind of detangles a little bit or helps you brush through the hair anyways. And especially with swimming lessons in the beach and swimming all the time, and plus the nap she is taking everywhere in the house, in the vehicles, um, on a bus, on my lap. Literally, she's not getting enough sleep right now. And I'm working on it. I'm trying. I really am trying. She's just such a scam artist, that beautiful little turd. <laughs> and speaking of, we were actually at the cash and we saw these. Actually, I think Cooper saw them. Either Cooper or Skylar saw them. And when he thought she was out of time and I was like, go get some right now. It's okay. We can wait for you. So she ran to the end of the aisle and picked out three. She honestly would have bought the entire box had I let her, but I mean, she has so many of these, but it still brings her so much joy and she loves sharing them with her friends. So you know what I mean? Anyways, squishy pals. <laughs> inappropriate thoughts. Sorry guys. <laughs> she also picked out this totally cheap 
probably not gonna last long, but made her extremely happy to find. And also this little kitty one, like I know they're not made to last, um, but it made her literally jump for joy in the store. $1.25 each, sure. And she is so excited to get to open those today. Winnie also picked out some adorable notebooks. You guys, these are so cute. I really need to get my shit together and start back to school shopping. <sighs> it's just such a task. It really is. At least the boys have their first day of school outfits. That's perfect. I am going to thrift more for back to school for like other clothes to beef up their wardrobe. My boys are growing literally before your eyes. Um, Winnie is growing too. Um, oh my heck, but girls are so much easier to shop for. Young girls, especially. If you've ever shopped for Winnie before, you know exactly what I'm talking about because she likes everything. Um, but anyways, we got a few things. Technically, these are back to school items, but these are going to be back to Winnie's room and she's going to write notes to me and send them to me through the bottom of the bathroom door. <laughs> oh my heck. Anyway, she picked out this corgi one. I mean, obviously a kitten and Jasper, a winning combination for her. Look at that little kitty. Honestly, these for $1.25, that's a good deal for sure. Um, and then in the card section, you guys, the card section is so cheap and they're not even that bad. Okay. Like some of them are good. Like I took a few minutes, not very long. I could have spent a lot more time in there. Um, but I didn't, <laughs> this is just so stupid. Holy crap. You're awesome. <laughs> Hope your birthday is a buttload of fun. Okay. Like, I mean, a dollar for birthday cards and I got a bunch. How many did I get? Oh, I got five. So $5 for five cards. It is astonishing how much they charge for cards now at Hallmark, at Walmart, at any other like superstore, any grocery store, any gift shop. It's insanity. Like $9 for a card, make your own. Okay, just make your own um, or buy at the Dollar Tree. Or Dollarama does have a good card section as well. And normally they're about a dollar, two dollars. Actually, some of their items have gone up to five. I have seen cards there for like three or four when they're pop-up ones. Anyways, like you can tell someone you love them with a text. You don't even have to give them a card. You know what I mean? Um, anyways, these I found for myself. When I'm coloring... Call me old school. I was born in 85. I am old school. Crayons are my favorite. Actually, when I color, what I love to do is outline the picture in marker and then go in with the crayon. And these are so cute. We got metallic, we got neon, and we got pastel. And the last thing I got, $1.25 here, Angie's Boom Chicka Pop. I have had the Boom Chicka Pop before. I don't know if I've had the white cheddar. They did have the sweet and salty there, which I have had before, the one that's in the purple bag, and I didn't pick that up. Sugar addict, that's why. This doesn't have a bunch of sugars in it, three for the entire bag, um, which is way better than what the sweet and salty where it's got tons of added sugar. And I do want to still eat all of the foods because I am recovering from my eating disorder. I know if you've been here before, then you already know all of this. I just like to share. Obviously, that's why I have a channel. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like we need to normalize our issues. I really do. All of them. Bear them all, okay? Because we're all fighting so many different battles that so many of us are fighting similar battles and we could be warriors for each other. I just got goosebumps, literally. Like, whoo, that was deep. That was deep. <sighs> Talk to your friends. Tell them you love them. Buy them a dollar card, okay? <laughs> oh my heck, I wanted to try this. Oh my heck, I'm literally freezing now. I wanted to try this and then we are actually, oh, why are packages so hard to open? Oh, there we go. We got her, we got her. It's okay. Um, we're going to go to a park this afternoon. 
It's nice out. It's actually hot as balls outside, but going to a new park is always fun. And we're actually going to go to the park where Winnie plays soccer at because she wanted to bring Addie and Boober along to that park in the neighboring small town because it is a really good park. Ooh, that's good. Angie, what's up? Mmm. You know, have you ever had, I love white cheddar anything, honestly, but aged white cheddar is even better. It's like got a bolder taste and I feel like that's what this is. Better than smart food. Oh my heck. Delicious. Mm. 